everyone. Welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Okay, so today we are going to, this is the things, this is the only thing we're using today is these two items. Well, yeah, and resin. Duh. <laughs> Put a little bit of this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of these purpley gold iridescent flowers that I have. I haven't used any of them yet, and we are going to use my Mr. Turtle mold if I can get it out this big giant Ziploc bag here. We're going to use the turtle mold now. This is a remolded turtle mold from my last turtle mold and he is all shiny this time Woohoo! yeah there's should be no matte he should be all shiny so this is the one and this booger it takes a lot of silicone to make him 60 ounces of silicone i believe it is to make this little well he's not that little turtle but yeah i kind of prepped this one i chose this one and I put a little UV resin in the middle with some glitter because you can see that little, let me see if I, there's a screw in there that holds all the flowers together. Oh goodness, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But there's a little screw, yeah, right there that holds, and I, I just wanted to, because this one was open more, I just put a little UV resin, um, the Light Wish Blue, Dark Blue. And a little bit of glitter, blue glitter on top and just cure that. But what, oh, oh, I touched the inside. I don't want no fingerprints. But what we're going to do is just sit him in here. And I'm going to let him cure. I don't know if I'm going to pour the whole thing while I'm getting positioned correctly. But, um, yeah, and I think I'm going to use these little stems here for one Hopefully, let me poke one off here. Oh, let me get the cutters. I'm hoping one will fit in his, um, because I don't need these on here anyway. Oh, one down. I'm hoping one will, well, I might have to bend him a little bit. I kind of wanted one to go at least in his head. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to, like, fold it to get it in his head so i'm gonna put one in his head not sure about the these i may um do the same thing i'll start at that point i may end up doing the same thing for the legs like this yeah well he don't want to cooperate but yeah i may end up doing something like that with those as well we'll see but i know i want one in the head so what i am going to do is mix up some resin get it through the vacuum chamber because i do not want any bubbles in this and what i'm going to actually do is where is my my cup at? what i am actually going to do is i'm going to once I get the resin mixed up and I put the, I'm just going to put the slide, I just want to see a little bit, not overdo it on the crystal. So while I'm um, putting this in the vacuum chamber, I'm going to actually, please fit, put my rose in there and that way all the bubbles, I will be cutting, matter of fact, I'm going to go on and cut some off now because it's going to have to be cut anyway. Just trim it off. It's just plastic or resin or something. But yeah, I figure that way all them bubbles, the air bubbles that get trapped in here will be out. So I'm going to vacuum chamber this with the resin once I get it mixed up. And just sit it in there like that and that way the bubbles will come out. So I will get, um, oh goodness, I don't know. I would, I'm going to mix up 10 ounces. I can't remember how much this holds. But I'm going to mix up, no, I'll probably mix up 12, wait a minute. Yeah, I'll probably mix up 12 ounces. I might use a bigger cup, actually. <laughs> and then I will be back once it is time to pour this in. See you soon. 
Alrighty, everyone. Um, let's see here. I have me resin. I have me flour. Not sure how we're going to get this in here, but without, because there's no bubbles in here right now. So, I'm going to just try to, whoop. Yeah, I made a little mess. <laughs> try to transfer him over here. Oh, I hear Nacho on the prowl in there. He is going ham. Can hear him all the way in here. Okay, so at least that's setting up. Seems like really nice and straight. So, yay. That really is sitting up nice and straight. Okay. And we'll pray for no bubbles up under there. So, I have resin in my head here. Really hope there, you know what, actually, let me put, I thought I had a dotting tool, yeah, let me see if I can just, just make sure, usually, the way the head is tilted, there's usually no bubbles trapped in this mold, and which is a good thing, but just to be on the safe side, I will stick this in here, but yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten a bubble in him before in his head because of the way it's turned and laid it doesn't trap any bubbles which is a good thing okay so now i i am going to try let me get some gloves on here i forgot because this part right here may get a little messy i am going to try to get the um stem down his neck i'm not sure about the legs yet but i think i may i also pulled this rose out this is the first ones i ever got and i took the just the leaves off i'm thinking about using just a different color leaf for the legs that was the game plan maybe i should use different for no i don't know i think i'll leave the head with the same okay let's see yeah, I think I'll use this one for the head, the purpley, bluish one. And I'm going to just kind of roll it half and half here and pray I can get him. Ooh, like I said, it's going to get a little messy here. Yep, that's why I wanted to make sure I had gloves on. Okay, I'm going to just try to ease him down in there. And I did leave the little gold stem on. I figure it won't hurt nothing. So I just kind of want to... It doesn't have to go all the way. It is a little crooked though. I think I would like him a little... Oh, there we go. A little straighter than that. Let me push him down. Oh, I think that's perfect. Okay. I'm going to leave that just like it is. Because I think that went in just perfect. And I'm going to leave the little stem on it. Okay, so let me see this one moving a tad bit there on me. Just a little bit. Okay, so I may I made up um how many ounces did I make up for Mr. Turtle? Um a 14, that's right. Because I started to do 12, but I went on and did 14. And I'm glad I did. As you can see, and uh, the more I put in here, the more this is going to rise. Oh, there go some bubbles. I'm just pressing down on it. So hopefully that was the only bubbles I had. Well, nope, there go another one. Okay, you know what? I'm going to sit here and press a little bit. Maybe I'll release some more bubbles. There go a little one coming up. Yeah, I tried to get them all out, but, you know, transferring it from cup to mold, you know, it's just, yeah, it's going to get something in it. Okay, so how do I want to do, I'm going to, I'm going to use these. I think I'm going to leave the stems on these as long as they can stay on here, I guess. And I guess I'm going to just, oops, I'm going to, um. Cause you're not really going to see the stem. I don't know if this is going to work actually with these legs. 
Oh, uh, yeah, because they're just floating in thin air here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about this. Okay. Um. Well, you know what? It doesn't have to cover the whole leg, does it? Nope, it doesn't. All right. It doesn't have to cover the entire leg. As long as we can, even if it just lays on top and goes a little in there. That should be just fine. Actually, yeah. Just a little color difference. Alright, now my thing is wanting to move. And I may have to put a popsicle stick up here. So he does not move. I'm not even going to worry about that right there. It's a little bit in there. I'll be nitpicking all day. I don't want that like that. I definitely know that. Oops, and he's the one up under my rose. Yeah, I don't want it like that. Yes, yeah, see, I don't know. <laughs> he's not working like I wanted him to. And I could trim it down, but that's okay. Well, bummer. I am making a nice mess, though, y'all. <laughs> I am making a nice mess. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can just get it in here some kind of way. Or not. Okay, he doesn't like me. And that's fine. I don't like him either, then. It's perfectly fine. We can just have a love hate root flower relationship going on. Love hate leaf relationship going on here. Alright, maybe I'll put him right there. Maybe he just didn't want to go there. He wanted to go in the back, maybe. I don't know. But that's where he's going now. Okay, I just don't want to make, I want to make sure that's not, yeah. You know, that's fine. Even if it's not all the way up his leg and like in the back here, I, I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's okay. I think that'll still look good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, now this leaf right here is a little bit littler. Or smaller so it actually fits a little bit better oh god everything is sticky oh yeah see that would fit a little bit better up in there okay and my rose is moving again and there come a bubble out and the only thing not moving is the one in the head thank goodness Okay, so let's see here. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get them in there. Like I said, I could have trimmed it, but I don't really want to. And I need to put something so he will stop going sideways there. Because he keeps going sideways on me. Okay, and actually, I don't think I have... Oh, Lord, I got a piece of tape stuck to me. I don't think I... Do I have enough resin? You know, I might. It was 14 ounces. Uh, yeah, I think I do. Yes, I do. With like a... Probably about a ounce left over, so I guess about... Yep, I got about an ounce left over. Okay, I got a feel feeling that these sticks are going to be stuck. Why? I just got a feeling. Okay. Put you right there. Okay. I guess I, I will... When it thickens up a little bit, I will trim this off 
some and I will go ahead because see my resin is sticking to the stick I'm gonna let it thicken up some and then I will take care of it okay so I got about an ounce left I'm going to I'm hoping I've got this little mold here and I'm actually going to put a leaf in here I just want to see what it's gonna look like because I have not poured this mold yet. I don't want it looking like that. Oh, I did not mean it for do that. Okay. I wanted it standing up some kind of way. Well, not like that either. It's a little... Actually, um... Took a mold of a, um... Oh, goodness. Snow globe mold. That's what it is. It's a snow globe mold that my daughter gave me. And I've been wanting to fill it. So I'm going to just really, I'm just going to fill up the snow globe part. And that's it. Not the base of it. Just the snow globe part. And you know what? That actually is just enough for the snow globe part of it. Oh, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. That is just enough for the snow globe part. Yep, it surely is. Just enough for the snow globe. So I figured I put I put that little leaf in. I just want to see how this is going to turn out. Cuz I have not poured it yet. But yeah, she um brought me a little snow globe from Disney World, Disneyland, Disney World. And I, I just had some leftover silicone, and I was like, you know what, let me mold it. Let me see how it turns out. Just to see. Okay, so I've got a little bit more left over. I know it's not enough to do anything with. But I think I'm going to pour it in this mold. And this is a hedgehog little mold. And I guess I'll just put him a little leaf in here, too. Well, actually, no, because he's going to just be a hot mess. If I put that leaf in there, it won't get up under there, probably. Let me put this in here, and then I'll put the leaf in there. I know it won't fill it up, but it'll get him started. It will get him started. Oh, and there is something brown in there. I'm going to have to fish him out. Something brown. Or red. A piece of glitter or something. I'll get him out. He's, at least it's floating at the top. And I have poured this one. And he turned out really cute. He turned out really cute actually turned out really really cute alrighty let's see here that's about all I can get out of that oops where did the um okay let me fish this brown speck out of here I don't know what you are did I get it yeah I got it Okay, so with this one, with all these crystals in here, I just take my little dotting tool and try to knock up those bubbles out them crystals. Because he is like that crystal turtle. He's got crystals in him. And he's small. Oh, this little eyeballs. I just try, I just try to knock out any bubbles that the little crystals may have it's not a perfect mold but I, it still turns out pretty cute I mean it's not perfect but it's still cute for a little mold try to finish getting off all those things and I'm going to spray it I know you're not supposed to spray handmade molds with alcohol, but this is my mold. I made it, so if I would have 
spent a lot of money on it, then no, I would not be spraying it with no alcohol, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just sit that leaf right in there and let him float, and whenever it's time to fill it back up, we can just fill him up. I think I've got it centered pretty good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got it centered pretty good, and I'll just let him cure and then um, finish it off whenever we get another one. And this one has not moved, but I will spray. I see some bubbles around the edge there. Okay. All right, so I am going to clean up my cup, and we will be back on demold because there's nothing else to do. Woohoo! Oh Lord, my hands are sticky. I don't know what good this is going to do cleaning if I got sticky hands, but oh well. They are sticky. Oh, let me spray the top of that best I can. And I cannot leave those sticks there because they will adhere to that silicone. Not the silicone, I apologize. To the, um, dang it, the um, resin. So, no, they will not be staying there. Don't leave your sticks on top of there. They'll become part of the resin. I'm going to, as soon as it starts to thicken up a little bit, I am going to remove them. Right now, I am just going to clean up my bowl. And wait for this to cure. A little alcohol in here cleans everything right on off. And this was the last of those horrifying baby wipes. Thank you, Lord. Whew, the last of them. This is like 10 baby wipes. Shoot, they so thin. So glad that's the last of them. I have got, I didn't get my crocodile cloth because they didn't have them. But I got me a tub of towels. That's what it's called. Tub of towels. And I think they'll, they look just like them or feel just like them. So I'm hoping they work just like them. I think they will. Oops, hit the camera. I'm sorry. I'm always doing something. All right, so now I can... Oh, no, I forgot to clean my paddle off. Well, sometimes this paddle, I forget. This is this leaving strings on here. But I said I'm going to use them. This is the last ones. We'll see how the tub o towel towels work. Heavy duty cleaning wipes. Tub o towels. They come in a yellow and black tub. We'll see how those work. But see, this just leaves little hairs everywhere. I hate that. All right, now I can take off my gloves, can I? Did I clean everything? Yes, I did. Okay. Whew. Lord, have mercy. Eee, sticky. All right, you guys. I will see y'all soon. Hello, everyone. Okay, so, off camera, I made up another two ounces. No, I made up three ounces to top this off so I wouldn't have any bump here from the um, stem. And yes, that two ounces I had a lot left over. I don't know if he's ready or not. I poured some in this little mini turtle. I will. I poured one in the diamond turtle. I used the Bombay, just the aqua, and it has the crushed crystal in it. I used that for that. Now this, I went on and topped this off. And I used these crushed glass that are colored. I don't have high hopes because look. The color ran like crazy or bled. So, not sure how that's going to turn out. And then I topped off our my little uh, hedgehog. So, I guess we will start with... Well, I'll start with mini turtle here. And it, yes, yeah, still kind of soft. This one is because it's the littlest. That's well, not too bad. He is really soft, though. And this is the double neck, as you can see. 
He's the double neck turtle. Where's my little thing? You always have to trim his little little um neck off. I don't know why they did that poor turtle like that, but they did. Poor little thing. But yeah, once he hardens up, he'll be cute to put into something. He just has to harden up. But the and the glass didn't do too bad. It did this color a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too bad. And he's a little mini little something. He's little. He's not too bad, though. Oh, the lights are doing that thing again. I hate it when they do that. I don't know why the camera does that. Okay, maybe that'll be a little bit better. Uh, or is it? I hate it when it gets some lines through there, and I don't know why. I don't know why. It seems like it really does it when there's a white background for some reason. But yeah, there he is. I'll just leave the white paper out. Because it seems like it doesn't do it with the white paper when it's not there. So yeah, he's a little bitty or something. Okay, so... This one has the crushed crystal in it, and I only use the Bombay. It's the aqua color. Bombay India inks. And let's see how I know he's I know how he turned out. He's gonna be gorgeous regardless. Yeah. As usual. Absolutely phenomenal. I like that Bombay inks. And you get how much is in here, or is it you know, well, they got the sticker. It was $5.49, but I got it for $2.79 because they had them on clearance. Yeah, how, how much do you... And that was at Hobby Lobby. Let's see. How many fluid? At? One ounce. Or 30 milliliters. Still a good jar of ink, and it's very pigmented. That's one thing I will say. It has a lot of pigment in this, and I like it. But yeah, that turned out amazing as usual. Very sparkly, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this turtle mold from Into Resin. It is so pretty. All right, I'm going to do the hedgehog because this one might be hard to demold. I've never molded this one. So I have unmolded this one because this is. The first one I made with some, um, just some flakes in it. So this is the first hedgehog I made. And just put the crystal in it and the, some flake, mylar flakes. So that was the first one I made. So I have made that one before, just not on camera. So let's get Mr. Porcupine, not Porcupine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love the color that is throwing off. I know the camera is not doing it justice. Oh my word. It is beautiful. And that's my little hedgehoggy. Oh my word, he is gorgeous. I see a few micro bubbles in there. I don't even care. Actually, I think that was from the second layer because that second la that second three ounces I made, I did not put it through the vacuum chamber at all. But honestly, it doesn't matter. He is so cute. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. He's got a little trimming to do around the edges. I'll do that a little later. But oh my God, I love that leaf in there. And that was that purple leaf. That is so pretty. I like that. Yeah, I've got a house full. Yes, love. Hey, hey I'm filming a video. You want to be on an angel? For my birthday, can you make me a key lime pie? A key lime yeah, pie. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me show you what this is supposed to look like. This is what she brought me from Florida. And it is this little snow globe from Disneyland, Disney World. And this is what the mold looks like. No, it's not going to be a snow globe, but... Oh, Jesus, that girl. <laughs> I don't know how easy this thing is going to get be able to get out. But we're going to see here. Oh, not too bad at all. 
Oh, okay. You can see the Florida word on it. What in the world is that, though? See, I have no clue to what that is on it. Something was on it. Dang it, is it in the mold? Or maybe something was in the mold because there's nothing on this when I molded it. Or maybe it came off. Dang it. I don't know what that could be right there. It's a smear. Dang, I hope it doesn't come on, come through in another mold. Darn it, because I don't... Oh, wait a minute. I think I do see a little scratch in it. Or something right there. Yeah. I do see a little scratch or something in that mold. I might have to remold it whenever I get some extra. Yeah, it sure is. But other than that, uh, well, I wish that was lined up. But other than that, it's a cute. It's still adorable. Except for this smudge right here. I don't know if that's from... I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to remold that because I like the idea of this little mini snow globe. You could put a little mini in miniature in there and that would be so cute. With, and the crushed crystal looks like the snow floating around. So yeah, that's an awesome idea. This was a test. And I think I'm going to try to remold this because I don't know what this is. And it looks like I do see something, a scratch on my mold on the inside. So if I do have to scratch this one, you know, if you have silicone mold that you've made yourself that you don't like or did not turn out right, just like this one, I chopped up a bunch of, just chop it up and add it to fresh um, silicone that you've mixed. And you can repurpose this. So I will probably be, just clean off all the resin off of this and repurpose this. Since it's got a scratch in it apparently. It's got something in it because there's no scratch or nothing on here. Nothing. Oh, there is a little something on that, but... I'm so confused. Yeah, why that? Okay. I'm going to figure that one out. But, yeah, I like the concept of it. So, I will most likely be making another one of those. Okay, so now for Mr. Turtle. This is Turtle 2.0 that I poured. This is one, like the first one. And there's one of Zeus's doggy hairs. Only this one is... Uh, hopefully he's hard enough. This one is, he feels hard enough. This one is supposed to be shiny all over, so let's hope it worked. Oh God, that is a whole lot of silicone. I usually grab him by his tail, pull him out a little bit like that, and then grab him by his two feet and pull his head out. Oh Lord. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's not matte, but he's not super shiny. Oh, he still he is pretty. He is pretty. Uh, I can see some of the not in that one, but this one the leg it got through it. Yeah, he turned out cute. Love him. Oh, yeah, this leg, it got in good, and this one, but this one, it barely got in it, the little leaf. That's the leg that it did not want to go in at all. It sure wasn't. His little head got it in there, the little purple leaf in his head. Oh, that is so pretty. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Hopefully. And there's his dog hair again. Well, dog hair all over me, so yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I just got to trim around the edge a little bit. But yeah, he turned, this mold turned out really good. Yes, it did. And I see the little bit of crushed crystal in there and everything. Oh, yeah. It turned out really good. There's a one little bubble right there in his shell. Yeah, just right there. It's not bad, though, but it's a little bubble right there. But no bubbles anywhere else. 
none that I can see anyway. It's very pretty. I love the iridescent shine of those roses. They are so pretty. They really are pretty. And it's still got a few neck bubbles, but they're the micro bubbles. Very, very little bubbles. So that doesn't bother me. Very little. But yeah. How do you like him? He's semi shiny at the bottom. Shiny at the top. He turned out pretty. I like him. Turned out real putty. Yes, he did. All right, you guys. I think the best one is this one, though. He turned out really adorable. Yes, he did with his little spikies. He turned out really cute. And he got that in the spike, actual in the spike there, the little thing. Oh, goodness. Yeah, they just need trim. The feet's still a little soft. But, yeah, really, really pretty. I love the way this leaf showed up in that. Oh, my word. But, yeah, all of them are adorable. Just absolutely adorable. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm going to try to remold this because I don't know what happened all, like, from here through here through here but there's no smudges on the glass ball that's what i don't understand and i cleaned it with alcohol before i molded it so it's kind of weird hmm but it's identical basically to that yeah see there is no smudges where that smudges is i don't know what could have happened hmm I gotta try this. I gotta try to mold this again. Because that is adorable. I love it. I actually want to shake it. Even though you can't shake it. Because that is cute. I like that. Ooh. I could put Mr. Turtle in there. Next time. Let's have him floating in there. Yep. Or he can even sit on top. Actually, I think I will glue him to the top of that and just save it and put it on my desk. Oh, 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 oh. Or I could just, yeah, where that is right there, that little smudge. I could UV him right to there and he's swimming over the globe. Yeah, that'll work. But I don't like to throw resin pieces away. So, I probably, I will E6000 him or UV resin him to that. I surely will. Once I trim him up a little bit, he can be swimming on it. Oh, yeah. Ideas, ideas. But, yeah, I think I'm going to recast this mold. Because I'm not sure what that is in there. And I can't bend it all the way to see. But, I swear I see a little something in there. It's kind of crazy though. It's kind of crazy and weird. Okay. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all have a blessed day and stay tuned for our next video together. Bye for now. Love you.